In late 2019, you probably noticed emails like this showing up in your inbox. Dear customer, Dear user, we're making a few updates. We'll be making some changes. We have updated our privacy notice in terms of use. This is a result. This is the result of the California Consumer Privacy Act. The California Consumer Privacy Act. That was for the first time where a lot of people really learned about the CCPA, the California Consumer Privacy Act, and the whole new set of rights that this law was creating. Dan Stoller covers privacy and data security for Bloomberg Law. He reported on the buildup to the California Consumer Privacy Act, the new law giving Californians control over their online data. So starting in around 2014, big data breaches started happening at places like Home Depot and Target. Consumer of those places were getting letters from these companies saying, hey, your data may have been accessed. In Europe, EU officials responded by adopting the General Data Protection Regulation, a sweeping set of data privacy laws protecting every citizen of the European Union. Similar efforts largely fizzled in the U.S. until... Fast forward to the 2016 election, the Cambridge Analytica data scandal starts to come out, and you see where your data can be used. The fallout from Facebook's data privacy scandal continues to unfold. 87 million people now affected by the Cambridge Analytica data scandal here for Facebook. That angry users around the world are asking whether Facebook is protecting their data in any way. Lawmakers held hearings, brought Mark Zuckerberg before multiple committees to ask questions about what are you doing with our data? Why aren't you being transparent with our data? How will you protect users' data? How long? Do you keep a user's data? What exactly are you doing with the data? As a Facebook user, are you, are you willing to give me more control over my data? And that really started kicking off the newer conversation where we are now. After a multi-year effort, the CCPA officially became law on New Year's Day 2020. So what does it do? The CCPA is wide-ranging, but privacy advocates are most excited about three key planks. One, it allows users to access and delete their data. Two, it allows them to opt out of their data being sold to third parties. And three, it provides legal recourse to hold companies accountable for privacy violations. The real teeth of the CCPA is, for the first time, is the ability to hold companies accountable for privacy violations written into a law. These damages or potential enforcement penalties could reach up into the millions if a company has tons of users within the state. Once the first data breaches come out, you're going to see tons of lawsuits from the plaintiff's bars, from consumers that are upset because there's statutory fines to be able to go after them. While the CCPA is just for California residents, like Hollywood movies, fast food, and fine wine, its reach extends far beyond the state. So the CCPA is really geared at big tech companies like Facebook, Google, and Twitter. However, it does capture any company that does business in California. If they collect data on 50,000 individuals within the state or have a revenue of $25 million, even if they're placed outside of California. The costs of complying with the CCPA aren't trivial. One study found that businesses will spend $55 billion getting up to speed with the law. That's nearly 2% of California's GDP. The regulatory landscape is only likely to get messier in the coming years. In addition to California, other states are weighing their own privacy bills, ranging from CCPA-like protections to reining in new technologies like facial recognition. Not to mention the regulatory rumblings coming from Capitol Hill. There's been a lot of uh, talk and debate about a federal privacy law. The prospects in the short term remain low because of disagreements over consumers' right to sue over a data breach or privacy violations like the CCPA. There's also disagreements over whether this federal law should allow state laws like the CCPA. And that's really where the Democrats and the Republicans are butting heads. With the varying uh, privacy laws on the books and the prospects of new ones, the first thing a company should do is not panic. You really just want to comply with the strictest standard. In the face of such regulatory uncertainty, only one thing is clear. You can expect more of those emails in the years to come.